Hello everyone! We'll be watching the sunrise from the high desert of California, next to the Californian aqueduct. The weather is really clear up here. Here's a graphic of the Earth. We're at latitude 34.6 and it's the equinox. The axis uh, is exactly oriented normal to the solar direction. Here's my camera and uh, it's a Sony 24 megapixels, a uh, very good camera. Halfway through we'll watch without a filter, then we'll put a filter on. Have a look at this, it's quite amazing. Notice all the distortion in the atmosphere. Now I put the filter on. Now let's see it again, zoomed in. Wow, look at those layers of atmospheric distortion. Simply incredible. Let's have a look at some analysis. We're gonna take a look at the angle of sunrise and the speed at which the solar disk is rising. I took a few screen grabs from the clip you just saw and superimposed them and drew a line through them. Notice the angle is about 58 degrees to the horizon and 32 degrees measured to the vertical, which is fairly close to the 34.6 degree latitude. In a previous video I actually messed up and thought the 58 degree angle should be 34.6. To account for the few degrees that were off, uh, have a look at this graphic. The camera was slightly tilted and it looks like it's tilted about 3 degrees. And that should explain the slight difference. For those that scrutinize everything, the GPS date is off. The app didn't have time to, um, you know, update. So I'm showing you that I took this on September 21st, early in the morning, one day before Equinox. Now here's the velocity. Notice that uh, the solar disk is moving up a lot faster than it should. The sun should have moved up only about 1.5 degrees, but it moved up 3 degrees. I took two back-to-back -to -back time lapses, one second step, and 180 frames each for a total of uh, 6 minutes. Now. This is the most exciting thing, folks. The solar diameter is changing. And I used my 8-inch uh, Celestron to uh, determine that. Have a look at this. All right, this is my scope on a Bixen Porta 2, uh, easy to maneuver. I have a solar filter on the front and a 24 megapixel Sony camera on the back. Now here's the results. The biggest change is between the 7.24 a.m. sun and the 8.24. Uh, but there's also changes uh, relative to the other ones, but they're a lot more uh, subtle. Now let's compare the diameters in the vertical direction first. Notice that there's quite a bit of difference in the vertical direction. This is just incredible, folks. But let's do our due diligence and compare the horizontal dimension. Even in the horizontal, it has changed a little bit, but not as much, which tells us that the sun appears to be slightly elliptical due to perhaps atmospheric refraction. Simply incredible, folks. Thanks for watching. I hope this spurs you know, some of you to really research your world and not just accept whatever is taught to us. Anyway, have a good one. God bless.